Michaela Omer. She is our 10-year-old entrepreneur. She is going to start off today with a presentation, and then we'll do, she'll show us a couple of videos that she's done, and then we'll go into a Q&A. And um, I just want to start by saying that I think Michaela is a fantastic example that you're never too young like Michaela, or too old to come up with a great idea and take a risk and be daring and do something that you've always dreamed to. So with that, I'll let Michaela take it away. So again, my name is Michaela Olmer, and thank you for inviting me, thank you for coming. Again, I'm 10 years old and I'm in the fifth grade. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm the founder and CEO of Be Sweet Lemonade. The ambassador, student, and a social entrepreneur. <laughs> so, um, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my business and some really interesting facts about the bees. And then I'm going to share with you some lessons that I've learned on being an entrepreneur. But first, let's start with a couple of bee jokes. <laughs> what did the bee say to the sushi? Or what did the sushi say to the bee? Take three guesses. <laughs> yes, you got it right. <laughs> Ginger. Right now, something really big is that Whole Foods carries our product throughout the southwest region of the United States. And we went from selling it out of our lemonade stand in a very small business to actually selling it Whole Foods throughout the southwest region. And I started Be Sweet Lemonade when I signed up in two kids' entrepreneurial events. Acton Children's Business Fair and Austin Lemonade Day. And so I signed up in those two events and I needed a product. So while I was trying to come up with a product, two things happened. I got sung by two bees in one week from my great granny Helen sent me a 1940s cookbook with a favorite recipe of flaxseed lemonade. I was very, very scared of the bees and I would overreact and freak out when they came like anywhere near me. So my parents wanted me to just do some research on the bees to um, see if I would be a little bit less scared of them. And I did that research and I found out how incredibly important pollinators they are and how they're dying. So I decided to create a product that helps save the bees and use my great granny Helen's um, recipe as well. And that's how Bee Sheet was born. Now I save the bees because bees pollinate a third out of all the food we eat. And they also contribute over $14 billion to the U.S. agricultural economy a year. So that's a lot of money if you realize how um, special the bees are. And um, I also try to save them because they're dying of chemical pesticides. And here's some ways that we can help save them. So you can support your local beekeepers by buying local honey. Or you could visit local beehives and learn a little bit more about the bees. You can plant bee-friendly flowers in different colors, shapes, or sizes to give the bees something to eat. You can avoid using pesticides. And chemical pesticides harm the bees. So you can use natural and organic pesticides, or even ladybugs and praying mantises will keep um, pests away. So try to avoid um, uh, pesticides because they harm the bees. And then share the buzz. If you find anything about the bees, you can share it with your friends and tell your friends to share it with their friends. And so we can spread the awareness that the bees are dying and make more of an impact on saving the bees. 
So I've been an entrepreneur for five years, and so. Yeah. <laughs> Here are some lessons that I've learned while being an entrepreneur for five years. And so the first lesson is working hard is a must. In order to start and grow my business, I had to work very hard. In other words, as people like to say, I had to wear a lot of hats. I had to wear a marketing hat, finance hat. I did <laughs> workshops teaching families on the bees, and I still had to be a student. So yes, in order to even start a business, you have to work hard. Lesson two is you need passion and a lot of it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, one thing that helped me start Bee Sweet Lemonade was that I got stung by two bees in one week. And again, I was very afraid of the bees, and so my parents wanted me to do um, some research. And doing that research, again, I found out how incredibly important pollinators they are. And I developed a passion for saving the bees, um, learning about the bees, and just the bees in general. And so with that passion, I think that passion helped me create my business, a growing, successful, and thriving business. And um, here's a little clue that I made up on passion. Um, you need passion in a lot of it because in, um, the more passionate you are about what you do, the more fun you have while doing it. And so with that quote, that reminds me how important passion is to my business. Lesson three is inspiration comes from many places. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, another thing that helped start BC Lemonade was that my great granny Helen sent me a 1940s cookbook with her favorite recipe of flaxseed lemonade. And we didn't know that that, um, well of course we thought it was special, but we didn't know that that cookbook would help start a business or even just, we didn't know it would be an inspiration or anything. Mm -hmm. But actually that cookbook was the inspiration behind the product I chose. And we became inspired by one, just how the flaxseed lemonade was made. And it was such a special way. And two, how they had and utilized flaxseed back in those days. And three, just the recipe, how it was old and special and passed on from our family. So that, um, I just think that inspiration helped create my business, a growing, successful, and thriving business. And the last lesson, lesson four, is you can be sweet and still be profitable. <laughs> As a social entrepreneur, my business is focused on giving back. And I donate my time and money to saving the bees. And Be Sweet Lemonade is very proud to say that we are making a measurable impact on saving the bees and we're profitable at the same time. So with that, I want everybody to conclude that you don't have to choose between being sweet and being profitable. Again, thank you for coming and thank you for inviting me. Um, if you'd like to learn more about my business or my mission to save the bees, you can visit my website at bsuitlemonade.com or my social media sites, Google Plus, YouTube, um, so that, and I think we're going to do the video. Thank you. Bees. I think to myself, how can I save them? Growing, pollinating, flying, they're like little tiny robots buzzing around the garden, helping me, my family, my state, my country, my world, the great and powerful bees. There's a line where, there, where it's moving. The circle's turning around. There's something that's moving. So each time it passes and there's no thing that blocks it, it goes in the belt. It uh, goes on another circle thing which we take off and put it in the boxes. And I started when I was four and a half. My granny sent a 1940 cookbook and it had the recipe for flaxseed lemonade. I wanted to put mint and honey in flaxseed lemonade and I tried it and it was really good. Every single time I sell lemonade, every single time, I haven't sold lemonade once without a bee coming through my stand or coming through my table or coming under my tent 
for just going around my lemonade because I think they're attracted to the honey. Bees are important because one out of every three bites we eat, bees pollinate and they're dying. If the bees left the surface of the earth, humans would have no more than four years left to live. And that was according to Albert Einstein. What I do to help the bees is I donate some of my profit to organizations that help the bees. And um, one of those is Heifer and another one is Texas Beekeepers Association. Saving the bees is fun and I know that saving the bees is something that I should be doing. I get sung by the twice. I got sung by the once in the one in the ear and one on the neck on the same week. I saw the beehive and I thought well that's super cool. And um, I'm like, what what else about them? And so I wanted to learn more and um, I became super interested in them. I really like um, teaching other families about bees, and I like um, having to make my own money instead of using my parents or asking my parents. I talk about the importance of bees, and I talk about how we can save the bees, and we do a little project, is making a little bee-friendly flower out of the eco-friendly pot. Encourage to meet new people or speak in front of people. They need to have passion because the more passionate you are about what you do, the better you'll do it and the more fun you'll have while doing it. And you need to have perseverance to make your business bigger and better and it's gonna be a lot funner and you can push it and everybody knows. Courage, passion, and perseverance. You can actually taste the honey and it does not have caffeine or it doesn't have a high fructose corn syrup and it's really healthy for you but it's delicious at the same time. It's taking the lemonade stand to a whole new level. Right now, a young lady is giving samples of her bottled lemonade at Whole Foods at the Domain. KB's Heather Kovar met up with her to learn all about this buzzing business. Hanging high above the buzz of shoppers at Whole Foods Domain, a photo of nine-year-old Michaela Ulmer with her product, Be Sweet Lemonade. It's lemonade sweetened with honey and it has mental flaxseed. And I donate some of the um, profit I make to organizations that help the bees. You see, Bee Sweet was inspired by bee stings. I got stung by bees twice in a week and I soon became afraid of them. My family did some research and I became really interested in them. And so I thought, why don't I add honey to whatever my product was? She was stung at the age of four and already thinking. That's when she created her lemonade. Oh my goodness, it's so delicious and sweet. I signed up in the Acton Children's Business Fair and I really wanted to do Austin Lemonade Day. Her grandmother sent her a 1940s cookbook with a recipe for flaxseed lemonade. She decided to add the honey and mint. It's now made in Austin with local ingredients. The flavor of the honey comes in after the lemon. It, it's really a good combination. You can find Bee Sweet Lemonade across Austin. Eastside Pies here was the first to carry it. I thought that was just going to be this little product that I was only going to sell at this um, one event or two events. She says she's surprised it's gone this far, but has even bigger plans. I think the future Bee Sweet is um, even more Bee Sweet flavors and maybe a big Bee Sweet store with Bee Sweet everything, Bee Sweet cupcakes, Bee Sweet shampoo, Bee Sweet clothes, a lot of Bee Sweet stuff. You gotta believe there's a future here. Michaela also conducts workshops about entrepreneurship and on saving honeybees. Heather Kovar, KVU News. Nine years old, that has got to be the coolest little entrepreneur I've Absolutely. ever seen. And I don't know about you, Albert, but like all I can think about now is lemonade. Lemonade and honey. <laughs> i got to go grab one of those bottles after the newscast. All right. Well, here we are at the Google offices in Austin for the Entrepreneur Featured Speaker Series. We have here today Michaela Almer, who is the founder and CEO of Be Sweet Lemonade. Michaela, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit and tell us about your product? So Bee Sweet Lemonade is lemonade soup with honey and it has flaxseed. And right now we have four flavors, mint, 
prickly pear, ginger, and iced tea and lemonade. Wonderful. So how did you guys get started with this? How did you come up with this concept? Well, actually, I started BC at Lemonade when I signed up in two kids' entrepreneurial events. And I needed a product, of course. And so um, we were trying to come up with a product, and two things happened. I got sung by two bees in one week, and my great granny Helen sent me a 1940s cookbook with her favorite recipe of flaxseed lemonade in it. So um, I was very afraid of the bees, and my parents wanted me to do some research on them so I'd be less scared. And I did that research, and I found out how incredibly important pollinators they are. And I decided to create a product that helped save the bees and use my great granny Helen's recipe as well. And that's how my business was born. So this is a family business. Mm -hmm. So what role do your parents play in all of this? So my mom is um, marketing and strategy and my dad is finance and operational and my little brother is B ambassador, business ambassador, and number one sales rep. And I am the founder and CEO. Wonderful. So that's very inspiring for a lot of people just to see how much your family has come together to support mm -hmm. your entrepreneurial vision and endeavors. What would you say to the young person or even the person who's older than you um, that is thinking of starting their own business and needs a little support or a little encouragement? What would you say to them about how to go about starting their so, own company? So some things that I would say to them is you have to have passion, perseverance, guts, um, you need to work hard, uh, have a reason for your business, and then other than that you'll have a successful business if you follow that advice. So here's another question for you. You're involved in every element of the business. So tell us what the most interesting part of running a business is for you. Um, well, the most interesting part and my favorite parts are just uh, getting to meet new people and growing and learning a business. And uh, I'm only 10, so having a business while I'm very young and... Um, using my business to help solve a problem in the world. So, um, you know, saving the bees is a big part of uh, why you do what you do. Mm -hmm. um, what role does being a member of the community, the broader community where you live, play in your life? Um, are you involved in different uh, organizations and do you do more speaking engagements like you've done here at Google today? Yes. So I do workshops teaching families about the bees and um, so also I just like to rollerblade and do girl stuff and um, art and read and garden and play outside. So Very cool. Um, where can someone who is going to watch this uh, find out about how they can buy this lemonade and support you? Um, you can buy my product at um, Whole Foods throughout the Southwest region actually. And um, Beverage Universe carries it. And Eastside Pies, if you're talking in Austin, Eastside Pies, Quickie Picky, Max's Wine Dives, um, Lick, Henry's Cheeses. So, um, and online, where can they go if they're... If online, you can buy it at bsweetlimited.com and Beverage Universe. Okay, wonderful. And last question for you. Since you mentioned Austin and you are a native Austinite, uh, what's your favorite part about being in the city of Austin? Um, well, Austin is a great place to grow my business. It's local. Their um, Austinites are very uh, helpful with businesses. It's like, oh, would you like, do you need some help with marketing or do you need some help with your finance? And so people are very kind here. And it's a wonderful place to grow business. All right. Well, I am sure that anyone who watches this will join me in saying that we're all very proud of you. We wish you the best of success, and we want everyone to be sweet, right? Thank you. Yes, yes. absolutely.